Welcome back to the channel, Joe Potter, Vintage Underground. Uh, we got an interesting one in the shop. Um, uh, well, what, last week, I guess. Uh, it is a Maserati 350S replica. Uh, it was uh, recently built uh, in Argentina, and it has ended up in our hands uh, to finish it out and then make a car of it. Um, it's mostly complete, uh, needs a lot of sorting to make it go down the road and, uh, and a car. It's kind of an interesting build, uh, done in the traditional way. It's a, it's a tube frame with uh, a hand-formed alloy uh, panels, not fiberglass. It's, it's done you know, the way it should be. Uh, a little bit crude underneath. Uh, we're we're going to change a few things, uh, some structural things that uh, we don't like. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it, they've, they've done it and maintained uh, the... Uh, uh, the theme of the of, of that car of that era, but this should be a very usable and, and drivable car. So here it is, kind of a distinctive shape, you know, that uh, these cars. Um, the the, the body is actually pretty good. Um, it's it's hand formed. I mean, there's uh, there's no doubt what it is, and really, it's just drivability and chassis issues. We're you know this is kind of how it came to us. We're going to finish out the dash. Um, there's some things the way the pedals, the uh, brake uh, master cylinder, and how the pedals are functioning that doesn't work. It's just, well, it's just not viable to drive. So we got some things to uh, to sort out and uh, and fix there. But it's a cool, um, handsome looking car. And the, the alloy work is, uh, the uh, coach work is, is really pretty good. I like the look of the car. I like, uh, I like the, the theme of it. They've nailed it. It seems, it seems proportional. So this car doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a, um, you know, a traditional drive line or drivetrain, sorry. Um, and so it, it, it's, a, it's a replica. And so uh, the engine that is in it is out of a early series uh, Cataport um, V8. Um, transaxle in the rear, I think, is out of a Cambria Corsa, a later uh, six-speed unit. Um, and they and they look correct. They look they don't look out of place. It looks it's really nice. I think I remember the story of the 350s. I think there was a V8 something. Anyway, I'll have to look. But uh, it doesn't look out of place, and it it, it is all Maserati uh, components, uh, regardless of when they were created. So at least there's a there's a theme there. And they and like I say, they look good. They're they're nice looking units. And um, so um, it's got a nice overall theme and feel. It's a nice build, and we get it done. Uh, the goal certainly is to make it uh, a really nice driver. Um, the owner of this car just wants to hammer it and, and, and have a ball. And um, so that's the goal. And we need to make it safe. We need to make it safe and dependable. And that is the goal. Um, to finish this out. So I'll do some more videos in the future as we work on this. The first thing we're going to do is pull the uh, drivetrain out of it and correct some things in the chassis we don't like from a safety perspective. Uh, so I'll get you some uh, pictures of that and uh, videos as we uh, as we take that apart. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.